Hello my loves, I just wanted to film a quick editing guide to show you guys kind of what to look for when you're editing your picks, how you can use the presets to make your picks 100 times better in a few clicks and um, yeah some common do's and don'ts that people often slip up on. So I'm going to put what I'm seeing on my phone just up here and uh, show you how to do it so you can follow along. So first of all uh, you got the free Lightroom mobile app uh, that you load your presets onto. You can see how to do that in my other video, but we'll jump straight into it. Now, here I've just got some pics I've taken recently of uh, some of myself and just some friends, Harry, Mitch, and the whole gang. Um, so we'll start off with this one, we have a little photo of Harry. Um, it's a good photo, a good selfie, but some of the things that aren't so great about it is like how green the background is, that it just kind of makes it look a little bit unprofessional and takes away from it. So. We'll go over here to presets, um, and here are the, here's the Harry Jowsey collection. And you can just click through and see which works best with the photo. So I like that, uh, the Bondo baddies, but it's still a bit stylistic, so we'll just click through. That one's quite nice, Insta Famous. I like the natural because it looks natural. But I'm going to say for here, we're going to go with Insta Famous. So boom, tick. And if you hold down on the screen, you can see a before and after. And you can see what this one's done is it's just taken some of the colors out of the background um, and made you really focus on the subject, which is Harry. Uh, we'll look at another one. Um, here's from a photo shoot we did recently. Uh, and you can see, so this photo is quite underexposed. It's really dark. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna first select a preset um, and I know for this one, the Naughty Possum preset works quite well. It uh, really works well with the skin tones uh, and just really lifts the photo. So we're gonna apply that. And you see that here, but you see how it's still dark. So we go over to light and bring that exposure up a little bit. Maybe 70 to 80, uh, 0.7 to 0.8, boom. And there you go. So you can see it just, in fact, we could probably go a bit lighter but you see it just makes that photo pop a little bit more. I'll go a little brighter here. Yeah, like 110, right? Uh, same again, this one, same shoot, but I got the exposure correct this time. So here we can probably just apply a preset straight. We'll just look through some of them. Bondi Baddies is quite nice. Um, but again here, Naughty Possum just works really well for these ones. Really just makes them pop compared to compared to standard, which you know it's a little bit washed out, a little bit bland, but here it really pops, makes the subject go. And we can take this a step further and the other thing we can change is the temperature. That's the only two things you really have to change with photos is the exposure and the white balance. So here we'll just make it a little bit warmer, maybe plus 10, and there you go. It just really like elevates the photo to the next level, a warmer scene, uh, brings up your skin tones, gives you a nice natural tan, all of that. We'll have a look at another one. Um, here we go, we'll go with Brian and Harry. Um, so here we took this in our friend's uh, sneaker store, Cookies and Kicks, and it's a cool photo, but you can see there's like a lot of noise, a lot of color in the background and all of that, which kind of detracts from the subject. So again, we'll go over to the presets, and we'll just click through and see which ones look good. So yeah, Bondi Bandy, the Bondi Baddies isn't bad. Uh, Insta Famous is a little too harsh in this situation. I'm liking Naughty Possum again for this. Actually, I really like Too Hot to Handle here. So you can see uh, it's taken a lot of the color out of the background, like a lot of the greens and blues that detracted from the subject, because obviously you want the people to be you know, the main focus. So if we look at the before here, see there's a lot, a little too much color in the background, the blacks are a bit harsh, all of that. But with that preset, it just gives that nice, like beautiful popping kind of Instagram look. So we'll go to another one. I just took these selfies just outside just then. So it's, it's a good photo as is, um, probably doesn't need a preset, but we'll look at them anyway. Um, you can see with these really gives you like a nice natural looking tan uh, Insta famous isn't bad at all 
I really like natural on this one. See, it just gives it that little bit of pop. But on this, I'd probably go perfect light. And so I made this preset just to literally take out some of the harsh yellows and blues that occur naturally and like from artificial light that make a photo look not quite as good. So if you look here, the before and after is really, really slight, but it just makes it pop that little bit. It's taking out the yellows and the blues and some of the greens. So you just get more focus on the subject and just makes that photo look a little bit more professional. But I'll show you some mistakes I made here with uh, my selfie. And so I took these on the iPhone and this one here, far too overexposed, right? Um, and no preset can save this photo. So if we, for, I'll show you if we go to the exposure and try and pull it down. I just look like, I don't know, like I've got the worst tan of all time and my face is yellow. So, I mean, we can go and apply a preset to this, but it's just not gonna look good because we haven't got it right in camera. So you really wanna try and get your exposure right when you're taking the photo, because uh, you know, a preset can't save a bad photo. Can help improve, but it's not gonna save it. And same goes for the underexposed image here. Uh, we'll go again to presets, and doesn't really help anything here. And we can see if we go to the exposure and lift it, it still, it just doesn't have enough detail in the shadows to look like a good photo compared to the good one I took before. Uh, we'll go back, we'll have a look at a few more. Here's one I took of this wall right behind me. Um, and again, nice photo, but if I want it to be a bit more stylistic, and I actually just posted this on my Insta story, um, come over to the presets, and I think I ended up going with Bondi baddies. If you just see it takes, it kind of takes it from looking like a photo of just a normal scene to a bit more like a painting. You know, it takes out some of the extra unnecessary colors, really makes it look a little bit more artistic. Uh, we'll have a look, anything else? Again, Mitch here, um, he asked me to take this photo and edit it for him. Uh, for his Insta, and again, it's a good photo. Um, you know, he looks great, great tan and everything. But if we look at some of these, they can just make him pop a little bit more, more than the scene and all of that. So again, Bondi baddies, not bad. You see the background just becomes a little bit more monochrome and then the scene pops. Um, Insta famous as well, he looks a little bit non more natural. I like Naughty Possum as well. But they're perfect light. Again, as before, you can see here, there's just all those like yellow hues and stuff in the normal photo that make it look a little bit, I'm gonna say muddy. And then when you apply it, it just adds that little bit more of a professional look to the photo. It's just one click and you're done. It's that easy. Um, I mean, here you can see some more photos we've taken. But yeah, it's really that simple. So. The key steps are one, try and get it right in camera, whether it's on your phone or on a proper camera. Um, find the preset that you think looks best for the photo. And then finally, have a little play around with the exposure and the white balance after the, you've applied the preset, just to get that perfect photo. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, hope that helps. Go take some amazing Instagram pics uh, and let me know how you go.